All right, guys, it's finally time. Here is the corner shelf video. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through some of my process for how I built the, the shelf and kind of designed it out. So I use this program called SketchUp, which I'll put a link down below. It's a, a free modeling program. It was really, really convenient for just the design of the shelf, because I think I did two or three iterations of this, and this was the one that I settled on. So the basic idea was these four pieces all come from the same one by two by eight piece of oak. And um, I cut out these inner three pieces. Uh, I cut them out to size and then I edged them with, uh, with the table saw, just edged, I believe, right at about a half inch off of each side or off of, off of one side. And that made it to where these quarter inch pieces kind of buttoned up and just closed everything in really nicely. Um, with the fourth piece, I left that one pretty much as is. I, the only thing I did was I did take off, I think that's right at about a quarter inch as well on um, the top and bottom side. And that was just so same thing. So that, that quarter inch piece of plywood on the top and bottom would just kind of just sit in there and kind of bring everything together. So if we bring everything, oh, let's see if I can get this to go on. Let's see, there we go. So I'll bring this all together and you can kind of see what the final product looked like, or at least in my head whenever I started it. So like that. So it's really nice. Um, this blue line is the basically the corner of the wall that I used. And uh, each of those pieces went into a stud. And then I used a drywall anchor just to get a secondary mount point, just to kind of like give it a little bit extra rigidity. Um, what I put on the shelf was the a Banjo-Kazooie statue that I have. And the statue isn't super heavy. I believe it's right at about 15 pounds. Um, so, you know, mounting it in the stud and then using the drywall anchor was plenty of support. Um, so I could definitely put something heavier on there in the future if I want. But yeah, so I'm just going to take you through for the rest of the video, just some of the process that I did for finishing it out. Okay, so for the first cut, I am going to do a four foot section. And then from there, I'm going to edge off a little bit of it for the inner part of the shelf. So I'm gonna cut this four foot section. I'll probably cut off, you know, a, a foot of this and then use that on the table saw kind of as my guide so I can try to keep my fingers out of there, you know, just to be a little safe. Okay, got it marked. I'm gonna do, I ended up deciding to do 18 inches, uh, just to give me a little bit more space whenever I'm pushing it through there. All right, so according to my very efficient uh, paper math, I'm going to be cutting 7 16 as an edge on across all these uh, inner pieces. So I probably won't get any film of that. I am mostly going to be worried about trying not to slice my fingers. Um, but yeah, all right, I got it cut. Uh, it's, I'd say it's mostly straight. Um, during parts of it, I did get a little scared naturally because of how you know thin of the wood I was working with, but. I got it and we'll uh, go from there. All right, so according to the napkin math, uh, so I've done the top one, the one foot 10 and 9 16 inch times two. I will now be going for the one foot five and 5 16 inch and the two foot nine. This will be the, uh, the, the first one will be the middle support for the bracket. And then the bottom one is going to be the outer edge. Uh, it'll be, I guess, front facing of the shelf.
Okay, so after all the cutting and whatnot, this is kind of the gist of what we're looking at. So like I said, I've got, um, I've got these edged pieces kind of lined out and then I haven't edged this one yet, but I'll be taking out the little chunks right here. I'll take out, I uh, can't remember what I said, like a 3 8 inch and then a 3 8 on that side. I don't know, I have it written down, but I'll be taking out just a little bit of flesh just to kind of like give it a little corner, take a corner out, take a corner out there. And then I'll get my sheet of plywood and you know lay it on top. Um, but now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut you know, cut my angles out, get these kind of to where they line up a little bit better. And, uh, you know, and just, and then I'll do another sort of test fit, make sure everything looks good and we'll go from there. All right, so uh, after making those cuts, I've kind of made a little rudimentary kind of positioning of where I think I want the shelf to go. It's gonna go right above the PC. And uh, then I'm gonna test fit. I'm gonna test fit this piece of wood and just make sure that, you know, it's everything's kind of leveled up. So, lined everything up you know mostly everything's looking good but uh it looks like i cut this piece a little too long so i'm gonna go trim that baby up a little bit and then we uh should be good to go all right so i got this piece uh cut up a little bit so it'll fit better with the the shelf the shelf bracket itself um i went through on here i have this raised up just a little bit. I think it's right under a quarter inch. Um, and then I came through and just kind of made a little shelf for these so that whenever I come up on the plywood, I'll end up cutting this plywood obviously into some triangles, but I'll come up and then, I mean, that's a pretty good fit. So I think this is gonna be where I stop for the night. I you know, don't want to upset the neighbors too much with uh, power tools. So here is just kind of after I did that that cut to kind of line things up. This was right after I did the, the chamfered edge as well. Um, for some reason, I didn't get the corner, but you can kind of just see that everything's lining up a little bit better now. And here's a close-up of that top and bottom edging that I did. So you just get a little bit more of an idea of what I was going for. So I've gotten to the point where I've gotten everything kind of edged out like I like. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this uh, quarter inch plywood. So I've got it clamped down and then I've got the, uh, the outside edge piece. It's just laying flat currently. Um, and I'll, you know, I'm gonna mark it with the Sharpie. Basically I'm gonna try to mark it right here so I can kind of get just a decent edge and I'm going to go on the other side and do the exact same thing. And then I'll use this to, you know, try to draw a line and I'll go from there. Just see if I can, uh, you know, make sure that that is accurate and we'll see how it goes. Okay. So from here, I clamped down the ruler and after I made those marks that I was talking about, and then I went with the Sharpie just across that, across that straight line. And then I went and got the skill saw and I cut, you know, one side and then I actually flipped the piece of plywood over and I did the exact same thing. So I always, I had two edges that were completely, uh, you know, factory cut. So they were really, really straight. Um, one of the pieces that I cut was not really good. It was cut pretty badly and you'll see that in a upcoming clip. But the other one was actually cut a lot better, and that's the one I used for the, you know, the show side. All right, so I got these 
uh, inner brackets mounted. Um, I did have a nail, or not a nail, a, a screw, the head break off. So I, uh, I mean, I basically just chopped it on either side and that's not in anything at all. But I've got this in a uh, drywall anchor and then I've got this one actually in a, um, in a stud. Same over here, I've got this one in a stud and then this one in a drywall anchor. I kind of, I kind of misjudged this a little bit, so I kind of had to re, re, uh, re drill it out a couple times. But I mean, it is inside of the actual drywall anchor now, so it should be good. I used these drywall anchors. Uh, you know, it's supposed to hold 75 pounds just on the anchor itself. So with the anchor and then the stud and then the anchor and then the stud, I should be good. Um, I think, I think the statue weighs 30 ish pounds. So I shouldn't really be like maxing out the weight capacity. So for some reason, after I cut those triangle pieces, I didn't take a picture of them or anything. So I do have these pictures. So you can see right here, uh, I've already, you know, mounted that bracket and then I stuck the triangle piece on top just to make sure it fit pretty good. Um, I don't have the middle support bracket installed yet at this point. And on this picture, you just kind of see like the, the setup. So it's, like I said, it's, it's right there above, above the, the PC. And right here, you can see that I have, you know, I just, I just used a nail gun. I just nailed that support bracket in. So I've gone ahead and sanded this with 220 grit. Uh, I, I was using an actual sander, but on like this piece of wood, it was splintering it up a little bit. So I ended up using um, a sanding block and it seemed to work pretty good. I've got this piece over here also uh, stained. This is just the first coat. I, I'm trying to get it to match the desk that I have that I built earlier uh, in 2020. So I think I'll probably have to stain this twice, maybe three times just to get it to that same darkness. The, the one I've got in there, you can still see the wood grain, but it's a much darker uh, black. I'm using the the min, min the min wax um, semi transparent. I think it's true black is what it's called. It's all you know, kind of covered up at this point. But um, yeah, so we got one piece, one one of the top pieces stained, and then that's the outside edge stained as well. Um, and then I'll do the bottom the bottom piece. So I've got the corner shelf attached to the wall right now. It's just slid over it or slid over the the brackets on each side. And um, then I've got a 30 pound dumbbell sitting on it currently just to kind of verify that it can hold the Banjo-Kazooie. I got a little carried away, but I do have everything connected. I got the triangle piece connected to the front edge. I did that with wood glue and clamps and then um, using an air compressor uh, nail gun, you know, just kind of nailed in everything. Um, some of my cuts weren't super straight on this, so I did have to go in with a little bit of wood filler, you know, sand it down and then, um, you know, stain it afterwards. That seemed to work pretty well. Um, you can definitely see some spots where it's, you know, it's, it's definitely noticeable, but I mean, it's not, it's not going to be crazy noticeable unless you are just like specifically looking for it. Um, so now all I have to do is put polyurethane on this side. I've already done it on the bottom side and on the front edge. So uh, I'll just need to do it on this, on, this, on this side and then I'll be done. So here's the completed shelf with Banjo along with uh, Macho Man and Skeletor. Um, so I've had it up here for probably about three weeks at this point. I haven't had any issues with it. I decided against actually using the nail gun to nail the triangle pieces into the supports. The, the fit whenever I slid the, the shelf onto those supports was so tight that it, it hasn't been a problem. Like it, it, just, it was so, like I said, it was so tight that I, I didn't feel like there was a need to actually uh, nail those in. So it's, it's been up here, like I said, for about three weeks and I haven't had any issues with it.